In news from Yellowstone National Park, back in September, a long dormant pool sprang to life in Yellowstone's uh, upper geyser basin. On Wednesday, the park showed 60 years worth of debris that the geyser spat out when it shot 30 feet in the air. The ground around the geyser and even a nearby boardwalk was showered with old coins, cans, combs, and even a 1930s baby pacifier. Normally, your spring only shoots water about two feet in the air, but this eruption, the biggest since 1957, was caught by the Old Faithful webcam. In a Facebook live stream, park rangers showed off some of the old relics that popped out of the geyser. We have a Ham's beer can with a zip top style pull tab. So these types of pull tabs were uh, started being manufactured pre-1962. While the debris might be an archaeological treasure trove, park rangers say throwing things into a geyser is among the worst things you can do when visiting the thermal areas in Yellowstone. And that vent gets narrower and narrower and narrower when the vent becomes completely plugged, as it has in several springs in the park, then, um, then the spring can actually plug up to the point where it's not a hot spring anymore and it'll, it'll go dormant. The rangers say due to high water levels from recent wet winters, it's driving all the renewed geyser activity. They say it does not indicate a change in the volcanic plume that heats the park from miles beneath the surface.